If you're looking to get a job as a developer, the harsh reality is that an online presence can really help. It's not required, but it can really help you. In this video, I'll tell you why your online presence is so important, how you can improve it, and specifically how you can use a platform like Hashnode to do just that. All right, so I wanna first say that this video is sponsored by Hashnode, but as I've said before, I don't do any videos on products or platforms or things that I don't believe in. I've actually been using Hashnode for the past four or five, maybe six months myself, and I've really, really enjoyed it. It's basically a blogging platform for developers. And what do I mean by specifically for developers? Well, there's some nice features like you can add custom CSS to your blog. You have a markdown editor, so you can write the same stuff that you use to do your readmes for your GitHub repositories, which you should have as part of your online presence. You can write your blog posts in inside of Hashnode. And then most importantly, a couple of really unique features or one first really unique feature is the ability to have a custom domain on your blog. So you're not just creating content that basically gets hosted on someone else's site. You can own that content and there's a cool different developer ways that you can actually own that content with an automatic backup of Markdown to a GitHub repository if you want it. And you can export to Markdown and get all of your files at any time if you want. So Hashnode is an amazing platform, one that I, I personally use and we'll talk more about that. We'll actually do a hands-on demo uh, later on in the video. So stick around so you can see exactly what the Hashnode platform looks like and what it can do for you. But first, let's start with why is your online presence so important? And I started uh, the intro to this video very intentionally talking about getting jobs. And it's one of these things that as I spend more time in the community, as I teach more people in the boot camps that I've done and YouTube videos and just being on Twitter, all these things, I've seen so many people transform their careers by having an online presence. And what that means is a lot of a lot of people are going through this learning journey, right? Like they're going through a boot camp, they're watching YouTube videos, they're doing uh, courses from me if they want to, they're doing courses from other content creators. And their goal is to get that job. And, and the tough thing is when you don't have a, a degree to fall back on or a point to, or like really big projects to point to, how do you prove to employers that you're worth an interview and then in an interview, how do you prove that you have the skills and the capability to go on and actually take this job on and do it? And a big way that you can do that is with your online presence. You can show people that you uh, that you do a few things. You know how to communicate. You either know how to talk or write depending on the avenue that you're doing. You know how to engage with people. You know how to have conversations with people. And this doesn't just have to be like formal content, there's a lot of different ways that you can do content. It could be YouTube videos. And if you're interested in that, um, I've got a YouTube for developers ebook that you sh could and should check out. If you're interested in, in starting to do videos on YouTube, definitely check that out. But it could be YouTube videos. It could be making posts on social media. It could be having a newsletter. It could be talking at a conference or a meetup. Any of those things, the more people are aware of you, the more they are aware of your skills, the more you're able to prove to people that you can communicate and you can communicate technical concepts is one of the most important things that you can do. Because one of one of the things that I bring to a team, if someone hires me, is they can look at 300 videos and all these blog posts that I've done, and they know I'm probably going to be a good communicator. And I can lead in that sense. And I did that um, at my previous job and got promoted because of my ability to communicate, my ability to teach technical concepts to people. That was really important. So you, if you're in the situation where you're kind of starting out, you're learning, you're looking to get that job, you really need stuff to show for it. And again, I want to be careful of saying that this stuff is required because it's not. It's not required. But honestly, if you want to give yourself the best shot at getting that job or getting the type of job that you really are looking for, this is the kind of stuff that really makes a difference because there's lots of people who watch YouTube videos. There's lots of people who go through a boot camp. There's lots of people who do all these things. So you need something to differentiate yourself. My thing coming out of college, I had, or in my senior year of college, I would have a computer science degree like lots of other people, but I built uh, something for fun in my spare time. I built a Harry Potter trivia app, something I've talked a lot about in talks and videos and stuff that I've done. And I just wanted to learn how to do Android. And I decided, I, why don't I just build something that would be fun and something I care about? So I went and I built that app. And that was what I talked about in like 90% of my interviews with top tech companies in the world like Microsoft, which is where I went on to work. So you need those things to show. You need those extra bits about you, those extra things that are special. And having your online presence, having something 
visible to show for that is really important and can make the difference between you getting a job and not getting a job. So all of that said, online presence is super important. It can help uh, you get a job. It can help get your next job. It can help get a different type of job, an extra type of job, like a developer advocate like I am. And there's lots of different ways to do that. You can do videos, you can do social media, you can do a newsletter, you can talk at a conference, you can write a blog. And there's actually one feature in here, which is really nice. I mentioned you can write a blog, obviously that relates to Hashnode, but also you can have a newsletter. One of the things that Hashnode offers is a built-in newsletter that you can have to let people come and learn more about you, send them emails, like that is a mind-blowing feature, it's so cool. So Hashnode is built for the developer, it's built to optimize and help your online presence in so many ways. I think the best thing to do now, we've talked about why it's important. We've talked about some of the features of a hash node. Let's go dive in. Let's do a hands-on demo to show you around hash node, my dashboard to show you what posts and statistics I have and some of the features that uh, you can take advantage of to really step up your online presence. So let's go ahead and dive into a hands-on demo. All right, so let's take a look at uh, actual hash node on here. I've got up, this is just the homepage, hashnode.com. And one of the cool things about Hashnode as a platform is you have the ability to just kind of scroll and find articles from people uh, that you may not have found otherwise. Honestly, it's one of the really cool things. It's kind of like a dev.2 in that sense, just for discoverability. But again, we'll talk about a lot of the developer features on top of this that dev.2 uh, does not offer. So uh, what cool thing here, uh, light and dark mode. I, I don't know why those things make a big difference to me, but, uh, but I like them as subtle things. So let's look at here is, uh, here's my blog and uh, Hashnode will give you by default a whatever your username is dot Hashnode dot dev URL. Uh, this is really cool because again, as soon as I log in, I sign up for free if I haven't cleared up, clarified that. Uh, here is Here are all of my articles and, and they look really good. They're easy uh, to scroll through. I like these reactions are really nice. Um, and here's all of my content, which is really cool. So let's look into the uh, the dashboard and just a little bit about the way I use Hashnode. I write my articles on my personal site and then I cross post them to Dev.2 and Hashnode. And I'd done Dev.2 for a while. A lot of my articles, very or most of my articles didn't get much traffic at all. I did a few on uh, Hashnode and they got a lot more traffic. So that was really cool just in terms of discoverability. But again, then you can go and kind of customize this stuff uh, even more. So just to kind of show you a little bit of uh, the markdown aspect of this, like here is uh, here is one of my blog posts. Here's the JavaScript array filter method, which I was supposed to do a blog post for each of these, and I just haven't. Uh, but uh, you can see this is uh, this is markdown, kind of regular markdown. They have a few tags that are specific. So if you want to do a YouTube video embed like I do with mine, uh, it's this little syntax here where you add the URL and then uh, just kind of add the percentage side ahead of it. And then uh, code snippets, like just regular markdown stuff that you would really be uh, really be comfortable with. You can also preview this thing right inside of here. So as you write, you can go to preview, see how it looks, which is really nice. And I think that that part, like other platforms have this, so that's not the special part, but it does that part really well. Having the markdown, easy place to have people come and find your articles, easy way to create your articles, embed videos and images and all that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. And then we start to get into the analytics is actually a really cool thing in here where I can go uh, kind of blog post by blog post and see all of the views, comments, and uh, reactions on these. Remember those reactions are those kind of like emoticon buttons in the top right. Um, and the one, uh, you can see a couple in here. These, these three right here have done better than almost anything I'd ever written. And actually this one here as well that I had written on Dev.2. So in terms of discoverability, Hashnode has worked out really well for me. And uh, again, you can go through and look at analytics and stuff. There's my numbers if you're curious. And then again, there is a built-in newsletter capability. Now to give you an idea of this, like uh, newsletters can be very expensive. Uh, I started off my newsletter on MailChimp. Uh, have since, I tried out ConvertKit, which a lot of people use. I've since bundled that uh, into Podia where my course platform is. Uh, just because I'm paying for Podia, then I can get emails for free. But you can start a newsletter for free in here. And I want to give a shout out to Wes Boss, one of the biggest content creators out there. If you don't know him, search him, you'll find him. And I talked to him four or five years ago saying I was looking to get back into content creation. And one of the biggest things that he suggested was to start a newsletter. And Hashnode not only lets you have a blogging platform for yourself, but also lets you start a newsletter. So you can enable that right there. It gives a, home, it gives a button on your blog post for people to sign up and then you can send them email. I mean, it's so cool. It works so well. And then uh, the big thing here, again, is having your custom domain. Now I'm on a subdomain right now. So this is just basically my username and it's uh, what hashnode, 
or jamesqquick.hashnode.dev so that you're all there. And then uh, if you kind of switch over to this custom domain, now you can uh, you can update with your custom domain. I run my name, my domain from Namecheap. I could do that in here, make the configuration work. And the really powerful thing is you're no longer depending upon another platform. You're able to have this thing or another platform's domain. You're able to have this thing as your own personal site on your own domain with Hashnode kind of being a really cool headless CMS almost in a way or a CMS in a way. It's really cool. This is really powerful. The domain, the newsletter, the blog post, the analytics, all that stuff works uh, really, really well. And that's before getting into some of the developer features that are really handy. So one of the things that I think is kind of mind blowing, and I haven't done this because I already keep my content somewhere else, but you can have all of your blog posts be automatically backed up to a GitHub repository. So like if, if you've heard of, and you may haven't have heard of this, if you've heard of like embedded Markdown, you can have a site yourself, you can embed Markdown posts in it and store all that stuff in GitHub. That's a little bit advanced for people who are just getting into this field. So this is a perfect way to have a platform that takes care of all the things that you can imagine really, but then still have complete access to the raw content, the actual Markdown. So at some point, if you wanted to migrate that later on, take it to a custom site that you build, which mine is a custom site. You could just pull those markdown files and use them in the new code that you write and be off and running with your new custom site. But for now and for a long time, probably you can use Hashnode. Hashnode will do this automatic backup thing. I didn't know this until recently because I don't personally need it. But if you don't, if you aren't already tracking your content now, you can have it done for you. It's just, I mean, this is like one of the really cool things uh, that I kind of geek out about in terms of features on this. There, uh, there's also import features. So I often import uh, my posts from dev.2. So I will take it from my site. I will cross post it to dev.2 and then I will import it from dev.2 just from this link right here. And it works really nice. There's like two things I need to convert. It's a couple of, I think the YouTube embed is different and that like I do that and then I'm done. And now I have it on my personal site on dev.2 and on Hashode. I mean, it couldn't be much easier to be honest. You can also import like all of them if you wanted to. You could also import from Medium. And a lot of people are not liking Medium. I'm not as big a fan because they, they're they gatekeeping. You have to pay for a Medium subscription to get to a lot of articles. And when I see that, I just back out. And that's not the kind of thing that I would want my content to be gatekeeped behind. Uh, they also have a bulk, a bulk markdown importer. So if you already have markdown files, you could import those here too. And then uh, there's the export. And again, if they're doing the backup, from uh, to GitHub, you have all your content there. So you're kind of covered. And if you want to download all your articles, you absolutely can. And you can do that too with just the click of a button, which is pretty sweet. Uh, let's look at general really quickly. Make sure there's nothing I, I didn't miss. Uh, just like your publication name, little details about yourself, fill out social information. When they go and look at your blog post, they have links to all of these social things, which is really nice because they can find you on other platforms. And then in the appearance tab, uh, I've done a little bit of customization with just uh, color, which I will need to update with my new branding and stuff. Um, I don't have a logo. I don't have a, a, a logo for dark mode. I haven't done a few of these things, which is okay. You change your layout. I actually hadn't seen the layout part. And uh, that's really cool. So you get a little bit of control over this, over your site. You can make it your own. And then also, and then looking down here at uh, integrations, you've got uh, Google Analytics. You can add Google Analytics and you can add meta tags if you need to verify that you are the site owner. You can ride, ride that. You can add that right there and be kind of good to go. So again, Hashnode, really cool features here of having a Markdown editor really being made for developers, writing Markdown, backing up your Markdown files to GitHub, uh, exporting them if you need to, having a newsletter baked in for you to be able to share the content that you create with an audience, build an audience. I can't tell you how important and helpful that is. Having integrations in here, having the custom customizability or customization of your appearance, and then really, really cool having it mapped to a custom domain. So that's on your domain, you own the content, you own the site really. And Hashnode is basically just kind of a CMS behind the scenes to help facilitate that stuff. So again, just to kind of recap here, your online presence can be the difference between you getting a job or not. I'm not saying it's required, but if you want to give yourself the best position to get your next job, you need things that you can show people that you built or created or shared that you did that can testify to your ability to write code, 
to communicate, to talk, all those sorts of things. Hashnode is a great platform to elevate you in a couple of ways of getting really customized ability, really, custom, really customizing, being able to customize your posts and your platform on Hashnode and then also having that embedded newsletter. So go and give Hashnode a try, hashnode.com. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've been using it for several months, still really enjoying it. So let me know what you think. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll catch you in the next one.